at the end of a term, you are not going to have access to whatever Moodle class you were in. That it um, shuts off. And you might want access to these course materials. So I have put copies of all our class materials into what's called a Google Shared Drive. You may already be familiar with this, but if you're not, I want to show you how to get there. Because you will have access to this as long as you have your email address. When you um, start a, a browser, go to Google, and you can use Firefox, that thing, or you can use Google Chrome. Um, I kind of like to use Firefox for my Moodle course and Google Chrome for my Google Shared Drive, just to keep it straight. Also, I think it works a little more smoothly. So here I am. Um, if I didn't know where to find Google, I would just type Google in whatever search bar I had, and I would go to Google. So here's Google. Up here in the upper right corner is this uh, grid of dots. And if you click on those dots, you'll see a bunch of different applications. There's your email. Here's a triangle called Drive. So select that drive, click that drive, and stuff appears. And usually it's confusing. There's things that other people sent you, blah, blah, blah. But what you want to look for is this thing called shared drives right there. And if you click this down arrow next to the shared drives, you will see all the drives that have been shared with you. And there is one right here that I've given you access to called LCC Drafting Courses. If you click that down arrow next to the drafting courses, it will open up and show you all the folders in there. You could also click on this drive, LCC Drafting Courses, and the folders will appear over here. And notice that uh, you have access to all of the LCC drafting courses, whether they're going on this term or not. Um, in each course, let's have a look. In each course, if you click the down arrow next to the folder, you will see the folders that are inside. If instead of the down arrow, you just click on that folder, like that, you will see over here the contents of that folder. And what's good about that is you will also see the syllabus and the syllabus schedule and a copy of the academic calendar. So click on that folder if you want to find the syllabus. And you can click on a folder like the Assignments folder, to see all the quizzes and drawing projects. You can click on the Lectures folder to see what's in all of the lectures. Now, in this particular class that I've clicked on, I have subdivided them by type of stuff. So I need to click the down arrow and click one more time so that I can see the, the PowerPoints and handouts that are in these lecture folders. And notice that um, you have PowerPoints represented by this letter P. You also have Word documents that say something something video links. So those Word documents with video links in their name list the URL to the YouTube video that is related to that thing. So you have all the PowerPoints and all the YouTube videos and all the assignments and everything, anything else that's happening uh, that might be going on with this class. So let's say uh, I wanted to download one of these files. What you do and here's a, this is a key um, 
slogan to remember about computers in general. If you don't know what else to do, click the right mouse button. Something good will happen. If I click the right mouse button over this PowerPoint, a menu pops up. Blah, 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 blah. You could open it. I don't want to do that. You could do other stuff. And right here near the bottom, it says download. And download means you're going to take it from where it's sitting here and pull it down and load it into someplace else. And see that picture is a, an arrow going into a, a bucket of sorts. So I'm going to click download for that file. And it's thinking of many things. And look here. That PowerPoint has appeared at the bottom of my screen. So now I'm going to go to where my files are. Here's my file explorer. Here's my file explorer. Happens to be lectures for this class we're looking at. And all I have to do is just click on that icon, click and hold with my mouse button, and drag. Whoop, and there it is in my computer. It's that simple. Right mouse click download, click and drag. Now, if you want to download more than one thing, let's say I want all these uh, outlines here. So what I, oh, sorry, what I just did was I held the control key. Control lets you select one file at a time. So I selected three files. Now, if I click download, I've got more than one file happening there. And so what Google is doing, it is making a zip folder. And this thing appears here in the, um, in the bottom here. And when I, I clicked with my left, uh, left mouse button, and this thing opened up, it says extract. Okay, I don't know what that means, but I'm going to do it. Extract. And it should work. It didn't though. Normally, oh yeah, it's in this download folder. Uh, click extract all. So I, I didn't, it didn't work. I didn't know what to do. So I clicked the right mouse button and it says extract all, extract. I don't know what I'm doing, but that's okay. I'm just following the directions. And here another um, file explorer window opened up and these have now been extracted and I can now click all of these and drag and drop them to my computer. If you want to select several files in a row, click one of them, hold the shift key, click another one, and it selects everything in a string between the first click and the last click. If you want to select just uh, individual files, click Hold the control key, click again, and it will select just the files you clicked on. So there is your, oops, sorry. There is your Google Drive. I encourage you to download whatever is of interest to you. You uh, Don't repeat this in public, but uh, you can download from any class you want to. <laughs> uh, it, this stuff is all here. If you are interested in architectural drafting, go get these lecture folders and put them on your computer, and you will have them forevermore. So there you are. Um, yeah, that's all I want to say about that. There you are. That's the Google Shared Drive.